Well, one of the permanent collections that we have here at the Fayette County Historical Society is our Thompson Glass collection. Thompson Glass was made in the city of Uniontown until 1895, and the location of the factory was where the uh, French cleaners is today. Thompson Glass was produced in a variety of patterns. Uh, patterns that we have here in our collection, probably the most collectible of the patterns would be the summit pattern, and the cruet is uh, in that particular pattern. More common patterns would be bow tie, torpedo, truncated cube is very difficult uh, to identify. We have various pieces in there. Uh, Mary is showing you a uh, syrup. We have uh, uh, compotes, we have stemware, we have celery dishes, we have covered and uncovered compotes, we have a kerosene lantern, and you'll notice that some of the pieces in the collection are red and that is referred to as a flashing. The red color is made by gold dust, but it's only on the surface of the piece. Sometimes they make commemorative pieces. Over here on the table, where we have Thompson displayed as well, there's a commemorative piece from Brownsville, Pennsylvania. Now again, the red coloration on that piece is only on the surface. It does not go all the way through the glass. We have our table set with Thompson uh, stemware torpedo pattern. We have salts on the table, which are also in torpedo pattern. And we have a, water, a small water pitcher at this end of the table, which is also torpedo pattern. Now Dorothy's going to discuss another commemorative piece, which was very collectible. The piece that we have here is a commemorative piece that commemorates the 72-day journey around the world by famous journalist Nellie Bly. This was a bread plate, so perhaps the family will be using it as such for their uh, Christmas dinner. This was uh, assigned to the Thompson Glass Company to create this plate in 1890. 